Good evening and thank you so much for watching 10 News at 6. I'm Shay Smith. Well, check this out. This is from this morning's Vol Walk ahead of the annual Orange and White game. The football team was joined by the Elite Eight men's basketball team as they headed to Neyland. Our sports team was at today's game and tells us how the quarterbacks are the ones who really stood out today. Spring camp has come to a conclusion as the orange and white game has come to a conclusion. I'm Garthic Venkatram and he's Frank DeLuca. And Frank, the quarterbacks played well in the last spring scrimmage of the year. Yeah, of course, you know, huge expectations for Nico Iamaleava coming into this season. But all three QBs down the depth chart, that includes Gaston Moore and Jake Merklinger, really put on a show for the Vols. Yeah, Gaston Moore throws the first touchdown. He had two passing touchdowns on the day to go along with 184 yards. Nico Iamaleava, the starter for next season. Everyone's so very excited for him. Seven of nine at 96 yards, and he also had a passing touchdown. Jake Merklinger had two overall touchdowns, one passing, one on the ground. They all look pretty sharp. Uh, you know, moving forward, the big thing, Frank, is, you know, obviously Nico. What's going to happen with Nico? Head coach Josh Heupel says leadership is the big thing he wants to see from him moving forward. And with a veteran backup like Gaston Moore, he's so familiar with the Heupel scheme, even going back to the UCF days, having him as a backup is not the worst thing in the world when you know that, you know, it might come a case where you have to fall back on Gaston Moore. And then you got a nice third string quarterback there and Jake, the snake Merklinger. <laughs> That's what I'm calling him from here on out. So we'll see how they all develop, but Hypo pleased with how they all performed in the orange and white game. Thought they handled the mechanics, um, the game like situation extremely well, uh, decisive, um, accurate for most of the day. A um, couple of balls that were high in, in the middle of the football field, but uh, all in all, I thought uh, they handled themselves extremely well. Iamaliava continues to look sharper and sharper, Frank. You know, from last spring to this spring, obviously he's made huge jumps. He got those QB1 reps in the Citrus Bowl, and now we see him in the spring game, and now it's up to fall camp in the regular season. Yeah, when you talk about Nico Imaleava, I mean, he's only made one career start, so the expectations are coming, but you have to kind of temper those because there is some growing to be done. He wants to become a better leader, and we're going to see him get comfortable ahead of fall and then as the season progresses. It's going to be an exciting season here on Rocky Top with an expanded playoff. Who knows where this team can go? We'll see. Back to you all.